Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. We stand for the national anthem of Switzerland. plenty looking forward to seeing this a capacity crowd here yes Peter it's a shame it's only a, a friendly but then again that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest and I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favor of, of lots of flair skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals I suspect I've probably overstretched my my level of greed here That gets things running. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? David De Gea. He's one of the all-time great shot stoppers, Peter. His positioning is superb, and he always seems to pick the perfect moment to rush off his line. What I really like about him is the way he keeps his frame big to make life as difficult as possible for strikers, and the manager will be hoping for a few more clean sheets now that he's in the team. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. And it's Mbolo. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Oh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Hoists it high. He's through the middle. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. Seferovic, good challenge, he just stood firm. Thiago, Llorente, Adama Traore, Llorente, and here's Morata, Morata shoots! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Oh, it was the first touch to die for, and it set him up beautifully. Switzerland seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? no well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Llorente. A decent early chances. It bodes well for an exciting game. Llorente. And it's Adama Traore. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Gets wrestled off the ball. And it's Mbolo. He spotted the run and played him through. And it's been taken straight back. Get the better of his opposite number. Seferovic. Switzerland ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Forward it goes. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Now it's Morata. 
And he's made sure that that won't get through. And that's a throw. Llorente. And it's Adama Traore. Adama Traore! And he heaves it forward. minutes till half time foot in Adama Traore bit of an appeal but nothing doing has a pop goal Spain and it's Spain who take the lead Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Yeah, it tempted and teased the keeper into thinking he could get to it, but it just eased away to catch the inside of the post. Spain take the lead, 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Ricardo Rodriguez. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. Now it's Morata. Morata with a really impressive run, which nearly went the whole way. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. And here's Embolo. It's Embolo! That has certainly tested the keeper. Embolo sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. There's a long ball. Tried to play it through. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Shakiri. And it's half-time here. And here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It was very, very tight. Well, I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first-half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Spain come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. But there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. And we are already promptly back underway. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Well played, he saw that coming. Thiago. And it's Adama Traore. Granit Xhaka. Oh, 
they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. Rodriguez drives it forward. Morata tries to stroke it through. Steered forward. Seferovic pushes to get on the end of it. And it's played forward. Tries to dink it in. Now it's Seferovic. Battles to win it back. Seferovic has got himself a free kick. This is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Ricardo Rodriguez. Trust the field, it goes. Good ball. Keeps everyone guessing. Whipped in. Deftly done. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Llorente. And it's Adama Traore. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, this lead is beginning to look a little delicate. I'd rather see them show the ambition and adventure to go further ahead. But it seems as if they settle for a, a riskier approach now to defend us. In with a header! You get that clear. He's had a shot! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Mehmedi. It's a great gallop down the right-hand side. Granit Xhaka tries to get it forward quickly. He gets past his man. Driving on, he could hit one. Seferovic gets flagged offside. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Just brushed off the ball there. Plays a clever pass. Now it's Sefedovic! He scored! We thought it was over! It's all square one score! Switzerland are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. All square again into the dying minutes. Looks to thread it through. That's 
it's gone a long way up and away. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Going through. And it's Seferovic. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's it, they're going to get 30 minutes more. Well, I don't think either manager could have any complaints, really, because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal, and it always lacked that spark. Fitness and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for extra time. Stern test this for the endurance, for the character of the players as we head into extra time. Spain pay the price for failing to close out the match in normal time. Can they avoid the same fate here where the consequences are still more serious? What a real chance! And that's a real chance miss. Sarabia fully appreciates that he could have won it then, and now he'll be all the keener not to lose it. Llorente. Pablo Sarabia. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Sommer gets it upfield. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? And here's Mehmedi. Mehmedi showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Ricardo Rodriguez. Switzerland getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Hoists it forward. Granit Xhaka. Extra time reaches half time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this turn. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. We're off for the final time. They have given it everything, it's been gruelling. But who will be standing at the very end? Yeah, maybe not easily shrugged off the ball. He's off on a marauding run. What a ball this has turned out to be. As Pliqueta has been caught there, it's a foul. Jordi Alba, Thiago, good run down the left, what can they make of it? Jordi Alba, <laughs> Granit Xhaka, ball's loose, who's getting there? It's good distance on it. Still anyone's game, this. One moment can decide it. It's a very open game and an exciting watch. There are no signs of nerves or, or caginess from either team. This pitch is go-for-it territory right now. 
you wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Massive leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. Spain can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last flip. There's the whistle, and it is going to penalties. I can only applaud the sheer doggedness and tenacity on show in watching both teams refusing to lose. I mean, they both ran their socks off. Now the time for brave hearts and strong minds. Real tension here then, as the first man readies himself. So, the first penalty. And he puts the one up. How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. Cooley done, one each. He just did what he was asked. Seferovic is the second man to step up for his team. And he's found the corner. Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver. So, the second man in line. Looks like he's done it a thousand times, never looked like missing. Mehmedi is the third man to step forward. Oh, what a save! Oh, that's a super save from the keeper. The third man in the queue. And the keeper's come up trumps. He's so focused there, fantastic save. And so the captain steps up. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. Thiago is the fourth man to step up. Saved! Keeper's done brilliantly. That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's got his teammates proud with that one. And that has lifted the roof. So after a gruelling game that went all the way, the winner is decided on penalties. It is a horrible way to lose, and they are heartbroken. Oh, this is so tough on the penalty taker as the heroes celebrate. Right now, it's a horrible experience, but they really should try and get those chins up. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.